Hello my friends, welcome to Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are practicing windscreen wipers from the Wagon Wheels book. This is the first song where we're playing slurs and I'm hoping that you've already learned slurs in your lesson. If not, I'll tell you today what they are like. Slurs are when you play up to, in this case, the middle of the bow and then change your notes. I've put I don't know if you've noticed, I put a little sticker in the middle of my bow so that it's easier for me to time when to change notes. So for instance, I can play a slur between an open string and a finger like this. And you can perhaps see that I change notes when I go past my sticker and that's so nice about having a sticker because you can see it in front of your eyes when to lift the finger off or when to put the finger on. Now we can also play slurs between open strings so you might try this as well. I'm playing a D and then when I see the sticker I'm changing to my A string so in the same direction. Shall we try and play windscreen wipers together then? We're going to start on two fingers on D and as soon as we go past your sticker take your fingers away. Okay? Here we go. Ah. Now another finger on. One. And take it away. very strange doesn't it when you play that for the first time now shall we try it again you'll soon get very very good at this from the beginning and Now we're starting on a two and when we hit the sticker we go to three. That was awesome playing, super! Shall we just do that first line again? Let's play it again from the start. Two fingers on the string. Ready? And... Shall we with the second line? And
done. That was lovely playing and you've learned slurs just now. So give yourself a pat on the shoulder for that because that's a new step in the right direction. Well done you. Now, now we're going to play the song again from the beginning and this time we're going to see if we can keep our fingers energetic. So here, you're going to tap your fingers really hard on the fingerboard and be energetic in your fingers whilst you're going to go super smooth and flowy in the bow. So you want to make sure that you don't by accident stop the bow when you take your fingers off, for instance, like this. You see, that is not as smooth as I need my bow to be. So you want to work on that, just swinging really gently up and down like that. And then in order to articulate your notes, you want to be very firm with your fingers and place them um, and articulate your fingers really, really clearly. So let's play the first two lines of this song again, really working on the smooth bow and the energetic fingers. Ready? And... when you are able to make the bow very smooth and the fingers really active and energetic. So let's do a bit more of that and we're going to finish the whole song now starting from the third line. Three, four, to the next two bars. So I, if I play you the last line. Just take a little breath, a little moment before you play this nice and soft. into those last two bars but take a little moment before you play those last two bars. Now uh, we have talked about louds and softs in the past and now my question is how can we play louder and softer when we play so many slurs? Of course we need to bear that middle of the bow in mind. That means that when we go softer for instance those last two bars that we've just played will come away from the very heel and the very point a little bit. So we're using shorter bows uh, and we'll come towards the middle because we want to always play the change of notes at the sticker, you see. So let's play those last two bars just for practice. Um, perhaps not starting right at the heel, but start a little bit away from the heel. Ready? And... Go up to here. That's it. 
So we're using slightly shorter bows. That was one of the ways that we play loud and soft, as we've seen many times in the past, uh, using shorter bows. Play a little bit further away from the bridge. In other words, play a little bit closer to the fingerboard. That also makes your playing softer. And our third way is press a lot less or press a lot harder in forte playing. So now I suggest we're going to go back to the beginning of your piece and we're going to add some louds and softs. Now, in the beginning it says mezzo piano. Forget about the mezzo, just play it soft and really smooth. Legato means smooth and it is about your bow strokes that are going really smooth. Then in the third bar you see crescendo and what I'd like you to try and do is every bow stroke as it comes use a little bit more bow so you get a little bit louder every bow stroke in the last two bars of the first line but also the first bar of the second line. You still keep that uh, crescendo going until you get to the second bar of line two. It says mezzo forte down but again I'm taking the mezzo out like I did in the beginning as well. Just play it loud and with the whole bow coming quite close to the bridge right when you play at the forte and then as you play diminuendo of course you do the opposite you shorten your bow strokes again you go away from the bridge and you press a lot less hard so bear in mind those three ways that we've always said how crescendos and diminuendos work okay so start softly at the beginning so not necessarily right at the heel but we're going to go here and be very light perhaps i should even go there as well you see after four. One, two, three, four. Now make your bows a bit longer, each one a bit longer than the previous one. playing gorgeous what a lot of progress you've made in a short space of time really good really good so if you've enjoyed your lesson please write about it in the comment section below please subscribe to the channel and share this lesson with your friends if you know anyone who might be interested thank you so much and i very much look forward to seeing you again soon goodbye